The CCP's push for the Hong Kong national security law has escalated the standoff between the U.S. and China. But with the pandemic, floods, and droughts occurring in China at the same time, the CCP is facing an unprecedented crisis. The very left CCP mouthpiece, Global Times, recently published a warning article on July 3rd about these six crises under the name of The Six Preparations for Change in the External Environment. The article has since disappeared on the Global Times website but has been reprinted on many CCP media, including the People's Daily website. At the end of June, the CCP Navy announced a military training session to be done in the waters of the Paracel Islands between July 1st and 5th. The U.S. Department of Defense immediately issued a statement criticizing the CCP's move for further disrupting the situation in the South China Sea, with Vietnam and the Philippines also protesting the military exercise on the same day. The U.S. military then sent two aircraft carriers, the USS Ronald Reagan CVN-76 and USS Minitz CVN-68, to the South China Sea to partake in the U.S. Navy training session planned at the same time the CCP's Navy sessions were. This situation, with the United States and CCP conducting military exercises in the same place at the same time, is quite rare. The hostility between the two sides is obvious. Rear Admiral George M. Wilkoff, commander of the strike group led by USS Ronald Reagan, said in an interview with the Wall Street Journal that the exercises would, quote, show an unambiguous signal to our partners and allies that we are committed to regional security and stability. In mainland China, various outbreaks continue to spread, with floods and droughts occurring at the same time. Coupled with the interruption of foreign trade and investment, the Chinese economy is suffering an unprecedented blow. As of July 3rd, the floods caused by torrential rains have affected about 20 million people in 26 provinces, autonomous regions, and municipalities, including Guizhou and Sichuan with direct economic losses exceeding 41.6 billion yuan, or 6 billion USD. The danger of collapse of the Three Gorges Dam on the Yangtze River has also been constantly mentioned in the news. At the same time, new droughts have also intensified in Yunnan, Sichuan, and Shanxi provinces, with fields so dry that roads are cracking and crops are failing. The current drought has affected 12 million victims. In addition, locust disasters have also been reported in Guangxi, all of which will cause food deficits in the coming year and a potential economic recession. The sixth preparation statement by the Global Times was a follow-up to Xi Jinping's speech to the Politburo Standing Committee on April 8th, where she stressed that they must be, quote, mentally and physically prepared for the changes in the external environment. In reality, these changes were really the deteriorations in China. Xi has not made similar statements even when the U.S.-China trade war was at its peak. However, as the CCP virus pandemic has caused about 400,000 deaths, the CCP will be in deep trouble if other countries hold it accountable for the pandemic and ask for compensation. The six crises listed were 1. The escalation of the Sino-U.S. battle 2. Broken industrial supply chains 3. Normalization of the pandemic 4. The decoupling of RMB and USD 5. An outbreak of a food crisis and 6. A resurgence of terrorist forces we have another video that talks about the six crises in more detail.